Welcome back guys again today is day two here out in Shenandoah and today we're gonna start the fishing and we are gonna catch something today I swear it, we are going to catch something the river is still very very active right now which I'm hoping slows down but I don't have faith that it will because it's gonna be much harder to feel for a bite when it's constantly pulling on your line but we're gonna try our best all right now it's Saturday morning we're here at the river it's still mighty, mighty rapidy. It's still moving pretty hard, but unfortunately it's like that all the way down, so we're just gonna have to deal with it. So I tried to use the crankbait thing, and all the tide does is bring it right back to shore in like five seconds, so that's not a good idea. We all just went back to sinker and worm. We're keeping it basic. First person to catch a fish that's over one pound here is gonna win $100, if anybody can do it. We'll see if somebody can get a fish over one pound from this rapid, river right here first fish of the day a little itty bitty bass he's probably not even half pound he's saying eight or nine ounces probably he's a little guy but hey he's proof that there are fish out in this river that are catchable so that's good is this some new kind of strategy you think getting in the river is going to help yes this is i want to cast further and overhead cast with their trees right here so i'm trying to get out fair enough fair enough if you catch a fish i'll shut up i'll shut up if it works mr bear how you doing in your fishing fit, man? I love it. Psst, psst. What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing yeah. in your little fishing shirt? You got lures on your pants. Yep. Gone fishing on gone there. Fishing. In your little fishing hat. You're the angler here, man. You just got to teach us all what to do, dude. After about two and a half, three hours, all we have to show for all that time was that one, maybe eight ounce bass. So well, I Googled fishing spots around here. Apparently there's one about 10 minutes from here that's out in the by the mountains. It's pretty popular. It's deeper. It's bigger. And there's a lot of positive reviews about it. We're going to go see. Good news is it looks good. Bad news, it's the middle of the day on a Saturday. So I hope it's not packed to the brim, but it's a good possibility it will be. But if I want expert fishing advice, I should just ask the master angler. Hey, Mr. Master Angler, <laughs> should we go fishing there or should we keep trying here? What do you think? He said, let's go see somewhere new. You wanna try a new place? If there's a lot of people there, we can just go and kick them in the river and then catch them? Yeah. All right, we'll do that then. You crushing you some like more sweet fish, potato, though. man? He's like no more fish. Woo! You crushing some more sweet potato? He's not even chewing, he's distracted by the phone. You too distracted by the phone, I'm gonna put it away then. So, after several hours of nobody catching nothing besides that one little tiny bass, we decided to try a new spot. We found it's only 10 minutes from the house. The water's way deeper, way more still. We had to go get more sinkers and more hooks, and we had to buy them at a gun store, which is a mistake for me, because they had this beautiful 357 that I'm probably not gonna be able to leave here without buying. But other than that, I think we're gonna be able to do much better here. Wish us luck. So far, lots of bites, but no actual fish yet. I've had this one fish like right over here where my pole's at that's been messing with me. I swear he's toying with me. I've been taking my worm like four times, but he just won't get on the hook. He knows what he's doing, but we will see who wins in the end. Three hours of fishing with all these people. You know what we caught here? Nothing. We caught nothing. Absolutely nothing. What'd you catch, Mr. Bear? A Did you catch anything? A bunch of laughs and a couple bottles. A bunch of laughs and a couple bottles? Hey, that's the best thing you can catch out here, right? Yeah, man. I know. Hey guys. All these horses. Look at the baby. He's laying. Oh look, they're all passed out. They're taking a nap. There's oh, this one's one. not. Look at him. There's another little one laying. Oh my gosh. Look. Oh look at that. They're playing. <laughs> Bye guys. Well, no fish, so this is what we're getting for lunch slash kind of dinner right now. We have some burgers padded, a steak going, some sausages going, and then tonight for the big UFC fights, we're gonna make more steaks. You know, there's something about sitting out in the woods, in the mountains, by the river, with the grill going behind you that just, it just feels right. It just feels right. Absolutely beautiful. I couldn't even wait to film before I just started eating one because I was just that hungry. My stomach wasn't as big as my appetite thought it was. I could only eat two and a half of those burgers, but you know what? They look so delicious. Miss Bear, did you wake up this Sunday morning and decide you were just gonna crush some sweet potatoes? I think out of all the foods we give him, sweet potatoes are probably his favorite. What do you think? Yeah. He just goes for those sweet potatoes like nothing else. <laughs> he doesn't really make as a disgusted face as some of the other foods, but maybe that's also because he's just getting accustomed to solid foods, but 
he definitely goes for these freaking sweet potatoes. So we still had absolutely no luck with the fishing and today it's supposed to start raining, look at the sky, in any time now for a few hours. So we figured let's take a break, go to this Valley Mall, which is like half an hour from where we're staying at. So I don't know what's in the mall, but it's always fun to go see what you can find. All right, you see this Keymaster? Look at that. Jordans with 20s in them. I mean, these things are always rigged, but I'm gonna try anyway. Which one should I go for? I'm gonna go for these black and white ones right here. The black and white one? Yeah. Looks about right, right? Yeah. Well, that's the second row. It's in the first row. Oh, shoot. What am I going for? I'm going for nothing, huh? <laughs> You're going for hitting a $20 bill, I guess. Oh, I missed anyway, so I guess it doesn't matter. Let's go for the green pair. It looks like bigger. All right. Think it's centered? No. Right there? Uh, yeah. Here. Nope. Too low. I suck. Well, that was one of those malls where all the stores were basically just dead. There was like nothing in there. Raindrops right are falling on my head. <laughs> <laughs> it's starting to drizzle on us right now, but hey, we just killed a solid 45 minutes. At least we walked for 45 minutes. Here's the positive. Do you have a good nap, Mr. Bear? I'll tell you, the whole 35 minute drive back, Ted took me about five minutes into that drive and now a seat. Had a good 30 minute nap on the way home, right man? Right Mr. Bear? Nah, not now. Look at those beauties. Let them sit out, get room temperature, and then they're gonna cook and be so good. Well, other side. Do 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 do. Alright, I want to show everyone how you um hold your head up. Do it right here on the couch. Ready? Put your arm out. Roll this way. Keep rolling. Keep rolling. Keep rolling. Keep rolling. Yay! You're on fall line. Yay! You just did it for like five minutes, so kind of tired, but you did it so good. Go. Yay! 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 Go. Yay! Oh! Yay! 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 <laughs> <laughs> oh, that view. It's so nice. It's not ideal for the fishing, but it is nice. We just started this. Ooh, look at that. Beauties. I was feeling the New York strip today, so now I'm gonna have this one after the ribeye yesterday and I can compare both back to back and see which steak I actually prefer. Okay, I kinda gotta switch teams here. Look, I love ribeyes, they're probably my second favorite steak, but the New York strip is just the epitome of perfection. It's just that perfect combo of like actual meat and actual fat. Like sirloin, way too lean. Ribeye is just too fatty to where you don't get enough meat. The New York strip is just, it's just perfect. You still team ribeye, aren't you? Yeah, I'm still ribeye. All right, what now, well, last time we asked ribeye or sirloin, now the question is, ribeye or New York strip? Put it in the comments. He said, neither. How about sweet potatoes? <laughs> Do you like sweet potatoes instead? Let's see, take bite. Whoa. <laughs> what well, you put on the outside of your mouth? You really like the sweet potatoes, huh, man? That's, your, <laughs> so that's his favorite food by far, I think. You ready, buddy? Are we back for another round? You ready? We're back for another round. We're back at the current Rapid River. And we are gonna try this one more time today. See if we can catch us a fish. I caught a fish. I swear to anyone's life. I literally casted it probably like 15 feet out there, got nothing for a good like 10 minutes. And then I was like, all right, I have this skimpy piece of worm on there. I'm gonna toss it five feet out within like less than a minute probably. 45 seconds. This guy was on there. That was quick. I can't get him to focus. What I need to look like guys. I think is he a trout? Yeah, I don't know what kind of fish that is. I'm not sure either. Huh. But we'll take him. So look at this guy. He's definitely over a pound. We've been doing some Googling on him. He looks like he's a carp, and from what I read, most people say, you know, carps aren't the best fish to eat. So I guess we should probably let him live to fight another day because he's a pretty good fish and you can see he's not really hurt or nothing so i think we should just let him go well buddy i enjoy the time we spent together but there comes a time in every fish's life where you grow up and it's off to send you to college so let's see let's get him out here 
It's been nice spending time with you, but you need to go, buddy. Go be with your kind. Go be with your kind. I gotta sell him some away. <laughs> Goodbye. We'll miss you, Bob. We're gonna miss you. Well, now it's nighttime. It's raining outside. Mr. Bear is getting ready to go to sleep. We're home, and it's time to just sit back, chill, relax, and I don't really know what else. I thought I was gonna say something cool, but I didn't have nothing to say, so that's it. Hope you all enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Leave it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new. And until next time, peace out.